We have a caller with their hand up. I'm going to bring them in. All right. Um, last four digits, 5224. 5224, yeah, your mic is live. State your name and where you're calling from. Hi, my name is Deborah. Hey, Mac. I'm calling from Brooklyn. Hey, what's up, oh, girl? Nothing. Much. Thank I just you wanna, for you, calling in. Of course. If there's a topic that I could even somewhat contribute to, you know I'm going to call in because, you know, I don't know too much about sports. <laughs> but I'm an Olympic fanatic. I love the Olympics, always have, always will probably. And, you know, my daughters mm-hmm. run track, so we're very we're avid track and field fans. I'm not even going to touch on Carl Lewis because Carl Lewis himself does not have a spotless history. So he's in no position to talk. And what he did, Mm -hmm. what his remarks, the only thing that his remarks, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, the only thing that his remarks did, I think, was just leave a bad taste of sportsmanship and camaraderie for future generations of athletes, for track runners. He's he's in no position Mm -hmm. to, to talk. That's my opinion. But Bruce Jenner, I will say, in his defense, all he said, to the best of my knowledge, is that Hussein Bolt cannot claim to be the greatest athlete of all time because the Catholics are the greatest athletes. So no, I no. kind of say, I'm they, right? all, they all have a specialty, the Catholics. Well, the Catholics, I think, you know, can be considered the greatest athletes because they are more well-rounded. Hussein Bolt, however... Okay is the fastest man on the planet. And I think that's a great accomplishment and nothing can take that from him. And in, mm-hmm. in, his, in, his, in his moment of celebrating his victory, he said, oh, I'm the world's greatest athlete. I don't think that he meant to diminish the accomplishments of the decathlete. I think Bruce Jenner just wanted to be a part of the conversation and mm-hmm. make himself relevant and bring himself back to the forefront. But I think he seriously failed. Absolutely. <laughs> but because nobody, do you really, do, does anyone really, Sure. Care what Bruce Jenner has to contribute? Do you really care? I mean, do you really care? Carl no. Lewis himself. Carl Lewis got his first medal because I can't remember his name. His name escaped me. Was disqualified for for drugs. Ben Johnson. Ben, ben Johnson, Johnson. Thank you. So I mean, right. do you, but do you really care? What Carl, if Carl Lewis hasn't gone on to be a coach. He hasn't gone. What I mean, do you really care? What Carl Lewis has to say at this point, at this stage in the game? Well, Especially something you negative. know, Carl Lewis. Carl Lewis, um, he, he much like Tiki Barber, you know, he had his chance to be an announcer and he wasn't good at it. You know, he has no charisma. But I mean, he you could know, have. Why, why not hating. be a coach? Because like uh, my daughter ran Colgate this past year, this past season. Uh-huh. Why not be a coach? Why not be out there with the next generation of athletes? Well, why not uh, contribute to something? And Carl, well, he's not doing anything. What is he doing? And Carl Lewis' defense, he is a track legend. His his comments yes, do hold yes. they do hold weight, but maybe not, I don't think those negative comments did not with well, his history, but not with his history. Well, I mean, it, the it affected of conversation. What he said affected Usain Bolt. Usain responded harshly, but he, he surely did. <laughs> but Paul Lewis, you no, know, dude, he's he's not charismatic. He's an abrasive dude. And that's how he comes off. Yes, so and also. Also, behind the scenes, many people in track and field don't particularly care for Carl Lewis. And, you know. Because of his lack of sportsmanship. You know, um, (laughs) in in Usain Usain Bolt's defense, he has a right to defend himself. You know, you're talking about about my image. Yes, I'm going to respond harshly back to you. But he wasn't even only talking about Hussein Bolt in this. He was talking about the country of Jamaica itself, and there he's saying yep. that their standards are not up to par. But if you look at the U.S. track and field history, um, what's her name? Jita, Jita the Cheetah. She was um, Carmelita Jita. Carmelita Jita. She she failed um, drug tests. Oh. Um, Johan um, Johan Blake in two thousand nine failed the drug test. Well, he's a he's a Jamaican, yeah. so that would play into what Carl Lewis is saying. But uh-huh. you can't pick you can't just single out Jamaica because U.S. has a history of suspending um, athletes for failing drug tests and athletes that mm-hmm. have you know their their accomplishments tainted by accusations of oh they're doping they're, well, they're doing yeah, drugs. Yeah, for him to just say Gatlin Jamaica, just came off a of suspend Justin yeah. Gatlin just came off a of suspension. Came off yeah, when you talk yes, about yes, he just came off of suspension so, Yeah, yeah. So when you're talking Jamaica, about money, when you're talking about money and glory, they probably all cheated. Some got caught, some didn't. But who knows? Who knows what they were doing in the '70s to cheat? Who knows what they were doing in the '80s, which were roids? But 
I think everything, the stakes are higher now. That everything people are has more got more inclined sophisticated. To everything yes. has got more sophisticated. That's it. Mm-hmm. But for, you know, what's Bruce Jenner? You can't claim the, the Catholics are the greatest athletes because of Usain Bolt. What if he decided to become a decathlete? He he chose a specialty. The Catholics didn't choose a specialty. But the Catholics, so yeah. that that's what makes you a, the greatest athlete because you don't have a, you're you're the you're greatest at everything. So the it's guy that won, they jack all trades, but this speed is nowhere comparable to the guys that run the short. Right, so then you can right. say that you're the greatest sprinter of all times. Well, I could sound the, athlete I could sound the greatest bowling and say I'm the greatest athlete on the planet. It don't matter. Well, you know what? You, you, you know can, what? You can say that, but then, but that still he does have a valid argument that the Catholics are no, the no, total. No one person, no one person. Yeah, because one who's saying both saying who's saying both saying that he's the greatest athlete of all times? I think he just said that in his moment. But if he really thinks about it, is he does he, is he a greater athlete than Michael Jordan? He didn't say is he was he a greater great, athlete than anybody. He just said he no. Was he said player. I'm the greatest athlete of all time. So that yep. that was Bruce Jenner's whole, whole thing. Oh no, you're not because A, B, and C. And Bruce Jenner has a right to that argument. Yeah. And Michael it's Jordan like, could have chimed in and said, No, you're not because I have X amount of champions. You know. I'm but sure. I think it was just in his moment. I'm sure. After- I'm sure all athletes at the top of their sports feel they're the greatest athlete on the planet. Yeah, you have a right to feel that way, but then yeah. another athlete can come in and and um say, well, mm-mm, no, I don't know, yeah, I don't think and, so. And I'm sure you I don't same, think anything is wrong. And with I'm that. sure you same bulk talk about Bruce Jenner's plastic face. 